Hey, Neil Smith here. In this video, we use Mercator sailing to solve for true course and distance to a destination, given the coordinates of the start point and the destination. Come on, let's get this. Mercator sailing practice problem 10. Here we go. Problem 10 reads, a vessel at latitude 11 degrees, 22 minutes south, longitude 9 degrees, 18 minutes east, heads for a destination at latitude 6 degrees, 52 minutes north, longitude 57 degrees, 23 minutes west. Determine the true course and distance by Mercator sailing. So the first thing we're going to do is find little l by calculating the distance between latitude 1 and latitude 1 and latitude 2. That shows the north and south direction that we moved. So let's find latitude 1. Latitude 1 equals 11 degrees, 22 minutes south. 22 minutes south. And latitude 2 equals 6 degrees, 52 north. 6 degrees, 52 minutes north. So now we have to figure out which way we're going. It looks in this case like we crossed the equator. So we went from 11 south, which is down here. We went to 6 north. So we went, we were headed north. And we crossed the equator, which is 0. So we counted down to 0 and then back up. We have to add these together. So we're going north, and we have to add these. So we're north, and we're adding these together. 2 and 2 is 4. 2 and 5 is 7, right? 74 minutes north. And then we'll add these 11 and 6. That's 17 degrees, 74 minutes. And we're just going to put this all into minutes. So timesing by 60 will get us to minutes. And 60 times 17, 60 times 17 equals 1,020. Equal 1020, and then we'll add these 74 minutes, and this will equal little l. So little l equals 1094 minutes north. Now we find meridional parts. We find m1, which is meridional parts of lat 1, so 1122. So we come to the table of meridional parts in the boundage. So 1122 degrees are on top, minutes are on the side. So here we have 11. We come down to 22. Okay, so 1122, we got 6. Bring that down. So we have 682.0. 682.0. Now we find M2, which is meridional parts of lat 2, 6 degrees, 52 minutes. So we find 6 degrees, and we find 52 minutes on the side. 6 degrees, 40, 52. 6 degrees, 52 minutes. So this 4 comes down. We got 4, 10.2. 4.10.2. 4.10.2. And over here, we added these together because we crossed the equator. So we're going to add these together. So we got m, little m, equals 1092.2. Save that. Now we need to find d-low. D-low is the difference between longitude 1 and longitude 2. And that's going to give us how far we traveled east and west. So let's get let's get them from our problem. We need longitude one. Longitude one is equal to nine degrees eighteen minutes east. So they have nine degrees eighteen minutes east. Longitude two. Longitude two. 57 degrees, 23 minutes west. So 
so it's 57 and 23 minutes west. Okay, we need to find the difference between these. So let's, let's see where we went. We started nine degrees east. So we started over here about nine degrees east and we went over here to 57. So we went, we went west and we need to add these because we went from, from nine to zero and from zero to 57. So we add these together and we went west. So west, we add these together, eight, nine, 10, 11. 41 minutes and 9 and 7 and 16, 66 degrees, 41 minutes west. We need to convert these 66 degrees into minutes times by 60 because there's 60 minutes and 1 degree. <clears throat> so 66 times 60 equals... 3960, 3960 plus 41, that's going to equal our D low. So D low equals, we're going to throw this in the calculator just because. So 3960 plus 41 equals 4001. 4,001 minutes west. That's our D low. Now let's figure out what quadrant we're in so we can find CN. So we'll put this in quadrantal notation. We got north, south, east, west, and we went north. All right, we went north, and we went west. So we are going to be somewhere up in this quadrant here. And our C is going to be calculated from north. So this is our C, and the problem is going to want CN, which is this distance from north. So it's going to want us to go all the way around and say how many degrees from north is our course. So we are going to take 360 degrees minus this C, and that's going to give us our CN. So we're looking at north course west so cn is going to equal 360 minus c now we can find c c is equal to tan negative one of d low over m so it's tan negative one d low is equal to 4001 m is equal to here, 1,092.2, 1,092.2, and now we'll punch it into the calculator. Shift, tan negative 1, 4,001 divided by 1,092.2, 74.731. C equals 74. Point seven three one. Now we can plug that C in here. So we have 360 minus 74.731 CN is equal to 360 minus 74.731 285.269 285 5.269. All right, so that was 360 minus C, which gives us our course from north. This will be listed as in the answers. Now let's figure out our distance. That's the last piece. And distance is equal to little m, ha, little l over cosine C. So little l is equal to up here, 1,094 over the cosine of 74.731 equals, here we go, it's going to equal, so little l, 1,094 
4 divided by the cosine of 74.731 equals 4,154, 4,154.15. So distance equals 4,154 miles. And this is going to be one of the answers. So let's check this out. It's at 285.2. Where are we? 285. Here's the 2 at 285. But which one has closer distance? 4154. Oh, look at that. We nailed this one. We nailed this one. A is what we're guessing. We get this. 10 is A. And that's Mercator Sailing. Practice Problem 10.